comets. Comets are considered to be the most attractive celestial bodies due to their peculiar shape and the fact that sometimes they can be seen from Earth with the naked eye. Just like meteorites and asteroids, comets belong to the small bodies of the solar system. Their history, physical and orbital characteristics, have been studied for a long time, and although many comets are well observed, some characteristics of these bodies remain unknown. While most of space bodies do not move or follow a trajectory, comets appear unpredictably from nowhere, which filled ancient people with horror. The word comet itself means hairy star. The earliest records of comets date from 240 BC, and the earliest comet ever noticed was Halley's Comet. In the period when scientific knowledge was poor, all the inexplicable phenomena was regarded as mysticism. Moreover, people often blamed comets for natural disasters, accidents, death, diseases, and more. Their appearances were often interpreted as omens of Armageddon. However, there were others who believed that comets were purely natural phenomena, which did not influence life on Earth in any way, like those other methods mentioned earlier. They thought that comets would have their own place in the classification of celestial bodies because they had their own trajectory and did not die out. Up until 1577 AD, people thought that comets existed in the atmosphere of the Earth, but Tycho Brahe concluded that they traveled beyond it. Later scientists came to agree and discovered more about them. Nowadays, many people are aware that a comet is an icy body that releases gas or dust. These bodies consist of multiple chemical components such as ammonia, ice, carbon dioxide, and more. They are sometimes referred to as dirty snowballs. Since they have water in their chemical composition, some scientists claim that comets might actually originate from our planet. Comets' orbits are situated around the Sun, but there is a hypothesis that some of them go far beyond Pluto. Comets can only be seen when they are close to the Sun. This is because they have complex orbits. Active comets consist of such parts as a nucleus, a coma, a hydrogen cloud, a dust tail, and an ion tail. The nucleus consists of ice, dust, and other organic materials. When a comet approaches the sun, the ice in it starts melting, therefore causing a coma to be formed. The most distinctive component of a comet's structure, its tail, appears because of the radiation of the sun along with its light and wind. Its tail appears to be pointing away from the star. The shape of the tail depends on the nature of the particles and how they are influenced by gravity. Some comets may have more than one tail. As to the parameters of comets, their nuclei measure up to 10 miles in length, while their comas can reach nearly 1 million miles wide, and some have tails reaching 100 million miles long. Despite the fact that, due to their small sizes, most comets cannot be seen from our planet without telescopes, some of them reflect sunlight, so people can observe them with the naked eye. The extent to which a comet shines also depends on its age. This means that younger comets melt faster than older ones, which accumulate refractory particles on their surfaces. After a comet completes its orbit many times, volatile compounds cover its surface, preventing the ice from evaporating. Such surfaces might have holes and cracks on it. Generally, a life cycle of a comet consists of such periods as departure, extinction, breakup, and collision. Having lost all its ice, a comet turns into a body similar to asteroids or break up into dust. It is also worth mentioning that some comets cause meteor showers because they leave debris. An example of this is the Perseide meteor shower. Moreover, some comets have orbits which interfere with other planets or other satellites, 
and many craters resulted from this process. Comets are also classified according to their orbital characteristics. Based on the duration of an orbit around the Sun, they are short period, long period, and single apparition comets. The first two types need less or more than 200 years respectively to complete their orbits. Unlike planets in most asteroids, which follow the same elliptical trajectories, thus enabling people to predict them, comets also revolve around the Sun, following oblong elliptical orbits. Still, they cannot follow precise conic sections, because the gravitation of the planets of the solar system influence the way a comet moves. Comets are usually named after those who discover them. One such example is Halley's Comet, named after Edmund Halley, an astronomer. This comet travels the solar system every 75 to 76 years. The end of the 20th century was marked by the considerable interest in these celestial bodies. In 1995, most astronomers concentrated on Shoemaker-Levy's comet, which broke into many pieces. They fell onto the surface of Jupiter, causing great disturbances in its atmosphere. In 1996, there was the Hyokutaki Comet, which ended up being one of the brightest objects in the sky that year for several weeks. A special feature of the comet was the inclination of its orbit towards the plane of the elliptic, which enabled scientists to study it in detail. Other famous comets include Lexel's Comet, the Eclipse Comet of 1948, and the Great January Comet. Comets are celestial bodies composed of ice, dust, and other components. They have their own structure, life cycle, and quite a complex trajectory, which have been studied for centuries. Many comets are well observed by modern astronomers, but there are plenty more which are yet to be studied. Be sure to subscribe for more Space Rewind, and tell us in the comments what you would like to see next in an upcoming video.